Alex Jones here reporting from the Mississippi River. We're in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, on our way to Orlando, Florida. We'll be reporting continually from the road. Now, coming up today on the radio, I am going to break down via an article that Paul Watson and I have put together the proof that there has been total systematic election fraud carried out against Ron Paul and against the constitutional democratic uh, systems of the United States of America. Crimes against our constitutional republic. Now it's gotten almost no mainstream prostitute corporate whore coverage, but it is there and admitted that in Iowa, a month after our listeners said that there was massive fraud going on, a month after that happened and after our witnesses saw it, they came out and admitted. Yeah, we didn't count a bunch of the precincts, places like Ames and other areas, university areas where Ron Paul's were 50% in all the major polls. We saw similar stuff happen in Nevada. In every other state, he's gotten more than double the support he got four years ago. Except in Nevada, it was a dead statistical, you know, same amount that he got last time. And with 4% reporting, Early in the night, they reported Romney undisputed winner. That's another evidence of fraud. Then Maine was so obvious, Ron Paul contested it, and now the Maine newspapers are reporting, but it's not national news, in the last two weeks, uh, that now Ron Paul is contesting it, and that they have admitted that a bunch of key counties where Ron Paul was leading were not counted. Okay? So the fact is, they've thrown out Iowa and say they don't know what they're going to do with it. Uh, Maine is contested, not getting any attention. Everywhere Ron Paul's really winning, this is happening. But what I didn't cover in the video I did last night, that I'll cover on the radio today along with this information, along with the article documenting everything I'm saying here, is that it's what everybody's seeing. I've been all over the country. I've been driving across Texas and Louisiana the last few days. All I see is Ron Paul stickers. And I've seen a few Obama stickers. I never, never see Newt Gingrich, Santorum, uh, back in the day, Rick Perry, Michelle Bachman, uh, Mitt Romney. I've never seen one. It's going to be like finding a four-leaf clover or a pot of gold or something that's this mythical place. I never see their signs. I never see anything. All over the web, I can go check some article about the weather and there'll be Ron Paul comments. I can go to any mainstream article attacking Ron Paul, there's Ron Paul comments. Everywhere I go, I experience this. I hear all over talk radio callers saying I support Ron Paul and almost no one supporting other candidates and the host telling him too bad he can't win with that mind game. And as I said, he gets over 70% of all military contributions for all the candidates combined, Obama and Republicans. So again, what does that say? It lets us know that everywhere where the system can't game things, Ron Paul is winning. And he won almost all the straw polls. He's won most of the scientific polls. That's with them blocking him out of debates. That's with the system totally afraid of him. If they'd engage in that fraud, why wouldn't they engage in this fraud? If the government's been caught shipping drugs in and lying about WMDs and engaged in torture and lying about it and all the other crimes and deceptions and insider trading by Congress, and when they get caught, they say, well, we're allowed to legally, which isn't even true. With all the crimes we've seen and all the past election fraud in this country confirmed, of course the system is scared of Ron Paul. Look at both parties attacking him, the corporate media attacking him, the establishment system scared of him. He's the real winner. And it shows that America's waking up, even if they cheat Ron Paul and the American people this time, it shows the worm is turning. Because he was not the, the front runner four years ago. Their mind games worked. This time he is the front runner. Now I didn't say he was the front runner four years ago. I said you know, he would be if they weren't blocking him out. What he says is really popular. And he's popular amongst Democrats as well, and in new polls shows he'd beat Obama better than any other Republican. But four years ago, I didn't say, oh, you know, he's being cheated 100%. There was some evidence of fraud in New Hampshire and in other areas to try to keep him out of the ranking. This time, he is the leader, and they're blocking him out, and it is a huge scandal. We've got to get the word out on this. I'll cover it more today, 11 a.m. Central, 12 noon Eastern at Infowars.com or on XM Channel 166 or local AM and FM stations in your area. Please spread the word about this right now and go to Infowars.com because by showtime today we're going to have that big Ron Paul article detailing, you know, chronicling this. A few months ago we knew it was going on in Iowa, but now the evidence is just stacking up until it's totally ridiculous and even Rachel Maddow and others have pointed out it looks like fraud. Uh, okay, we'll see you today uh, on the radio.